In this video, I'm going to show you about the parts of the drum. Uh, so, I'm going to pick the acoustic drum. Uh, if you if your screen doesn't look like this, it's probably just gonna it's gonna be a big black box that'll say drums, and then it'll say smart drums underneath in a smaller box. Beside that, it'll say acoustic drums. That's what I want you to click on. So we're gonna go into drums. So obviously, you probably know GarageBand. If I click up here on the box, it says Live Rock Kit. I have lots lots of options. So if I click on the hip hop drum machine, I just have pictures of different drum sounds. Uh, and that, that's fine, and you can probably figure out what those are after we talk about this. So I'm going to pick uh, the live rock kit. And so I'm going to name the drums in case you didn't know. So the one down here with the pedal it's called a bass drum. Okay, it's sometimes also called a kick drum. You don't always kick it, uh, but uh, you use a pedal with your foot, and it you put your foot down, and the pedal goes forward. You put your uh, bring your foot up, and it goes backwards. Beside that, to the left, we have the snare drum. Okay, uh, up above the snare drum, we have the hi hat. Depending on where you hit the hi-hat, if I hit it closer to the right, uh, you're going to get a tss, 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 tss sound. And that's usually what we want from a hi-hat. If I hit it closer to the edge of the screen, you're going to get a more open sound. Uh, the cymbals are kind of rattling. <coughs> so we use that sometimes, but not always. Uh, going up above the hi-hat symbol, we have what we call the crash symbol. And, uh, you know, when you have the ba -doom -tsh, that's the crash. And on uh, this kit, and I think on most drums in GarageBand, when you hit the crash symbol, you also get the bass drum sound too. All the way on the right side of the screen is the last symbol, and this is called the ride symbol. And so the ride is kind of like the hi-hat, a little different sound. It's a much bigger symbol, and there's only one of them. Uh, probably not going to do much with the ride, but uh, it's there. So the three drums that we haven't talked about are called the toms. Okay, And so the toms are like the bass drum but they're obviously smaller and they have different pitches mm -hmm. and so uh, the one that sits on the ground are called four toms and then this is a four tom and then up on the snare drum they're mounted um, rack toms mounted toms and they have different sounds. So uh, we'll mess with that. Uh, tom 1, Tom 2 are usually what you call them. Big Tom, Little Tom. It, there are uh, hundreds of different names for them. So that's the basic uh, drum set. So I pick this one. It's going to have a different sound, but all of the pieces are, are still there. If we go to the Retro Rock, you'll see it'll give you a different sound, but all the pieces are there. And so that's the parts of a drum set.